Hey, Deacon. Well, welcome to the man cave again. We're going to do some work today. Okay, we're back with our next project. We have rear uh, brake cylinder protection. I'm assuming he's talking about right here because this kind of hangs out in the wind. And then heel guards, which I'll do a separate video, that just replaces these guys. Let's do that next. That looks really quick and easy. Okay, so here's the heel guards. Now the nice thing, this is why do you want more heel guards than what you've already got from KTM? Well, I'll tell you. The reason is, you see this uh, Wolfman bag, soft bags, kind of, kind of like a lot of others. I tie it up to the frame here. It still kind of wobbles a lot. This is going to give me some tie downs right down here. You know, and the sun's in the wrong angle, so I'm going to, on this new rack I've got, um, I'm going to go ahead and mount this up, take these off, let's see what we got, whip out my trusty knife, Okay, first uh, offhand looking at the hardware, looks like we've got four bolts that are six millimeter bolts with uh, washers, and and looks like they use a five millimeter um, hex wrench. And I think it's interesting we've got four large diameter washers and four smaller diameter washers. And again, being an engineer, I never read directions, so I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with all these washers. I have a feeling that he wants me, wants one to become a spacer. I'll tell you what, this is just too darn sexy looking. You got to get these even if they don't use them for tie downs compared to the stock guys because I assume this guy's going to go like that but on the other side so let, let me go get a suitable wrench or a socket I was kind of curious if it uh... So this, by the way, this is a good test of this uh, camera, the TCL SVC 200. See how it goes between shadow and um, and bright sunlight. So what we're looking for is a looks like a 10 millimeter wrench. That looks like it. off the uh, record mode briefly. Okay. So let's take off the old stuff. Now this is also by the way where you'd mount your uh, where your foot pegs are mounted. So if you're taking your sweetie on a ride with you you'd want the foot pegs on. When you, if you're not going to take anybody too up then KTM supplies these uh, plastic guards. So what we're going to do though we're going to replace them with these guys. So, which one goes where? I think this one's going to go that way. And it looks like dollars to donuts. That's what these washers are for. So, you're, we're going to put the, the small washer on the top. We're going to go through the metal. We're going to use a large washer on the bottom. Because that seems to line up with this guy. Screw the hem in. 
Now if you want to, you could put some Loctite on it, which might be advisable if you're not going to torque it. But since this is not a crucial part, if you lose it, it's not going to stop your ride. Okay, so see how we got the big washer behind it, small washer on the top. And I'm going to choose a 5 millimeter hex wrench. Screw that puppy down. It's going to be pretty off. If you put these on backwards, it's not going to look right. Let's see. Where's going to be my foot guard? What would be if I turned this around this way? You know, I think that's the way it's supposed to go. It's got to go higher for your boot. Okay. I think since he's using a um, laser cutter, water cut machine, whatever, if he uh, would add an uh, L or a right, an L or an R, show which one goes where, then I won't look so stupid next time. Yeah, I think that's going to work out better. Okay, here we go. We're going to put this guy in there, this guy in there. Very gingerly get that started there. Yeah, I think that looks more like a boot guard, don't you? Should be going up. Keep your boot out of the swing arm. Put about, uh, what is it, 15 Newtons? 8 inch <coughs> pounds? Okay. That's that side. Let's grab my tools. So, uh, let's put the other one on. some growing. I just got a personal trainer. If you watched my uh, last video when we were doing the 10 cup pass and Hancock pass, you know, I was struggling. I was breathing hard and uh, I'm just so out of shape. So, if you're going to do off-road stuff, you really need to get in shape. You don't want to, if you do all your prep work, bike to make it good you should also be working on your motorcycle or your body to make sure it survives the trip too wouldn't you think I think so okay Put that in there let me double check maybe you did put a left and right no nope, I don't see it all right, so I got to give them some sort of negative, right? For guys who don't want to read directions. Actually, this is more crucial on this side than it would be on the other side because you got the chain over here. And Lord knows you don't want to get your anything caught up on the chain. I was in the Mint 400 in, 400 in 1970. And... Um, you can see how that fits. There's a chain right there. Anyway, so everything's going well. We were all excited. It's a two-man type event. So I had a Montessa Capra uh, 250, two-stroke, that we're competing with. My buddy took takes off first for the first leg. Well, everybody else starts coming around, including Malcolm Smith. He was uh, he came through in a really uh, beat up. Husqvarna 
guess he crashed pretty hard. <clears throat> and uh, meantime, my bike didn't come around. But Malcolm Smith comes around the second time, and now he's on a brand new scooter. I thought I was kind of curious, and then at the final lap, I think we did something like five laps. Uh, it must have been like 80 miles a lap. Anyway, he shows up on his broken down scooter again for his final checking point, and so evidently other people said he had bikes scattered around the uh, uh, the course. Well, anyway, I don't begrudge him that much. I mean, if he's within the rules, but the really nice thing is that his helicopter brought my buddy back, and on a Montessa, the countershaft sprocket is open, and the Kickstarter kept falling down in front of it. The spring had broken. So I kept reaching down, trying to get that kickstart out of the way, because I was getting in the way of his shifter, which is on the right-hand side of a Montessa, on a Montessa, and he got his fingers cut right in here, and he and it chopped off right across there. So he couldn't continue racing, and the helicopter brought him back and took him to the hospital. In the meantime, I'm sitting here in the pits without no scooter and no one to give me a ride out to where the scooter is so I can continue the race. So that was my Mint 400 experience in 1970. So, Nicola, this looks really spiffy. I like it. I, it's really good. Now, let's see, what is this really, the advantage of this besides being a, uh, some way to get rid of your foot peg and to get rid of this light plastic, which is doing just fine. The idea is, when you get one of these soft bags, you can take this guy off and set it. A lot of times it's difficult winding these straps down through the frame members because you got all this other junk on a 690 that is there. The idea is now, I can sit there and tie this guy right here. Oops, see that? I'm sorry. So I can run this strap through here, up to there for if you got soft bags. So let's see how this looks. It's uh, make it a little bit easier if you're going to take the bags off and on. There you go. So. And because now it's a more straight in line with the with the, the top pivot uh, that are on this bag, it's gonna it's not gonna be flopping around nearly as much, and I don't have to worry about fishing through here. So if I pull into the wherever I'm gonna go into and do some work on it, this uh, bag is easier to get on and off. So let's go do the other side. I'm gonna be the only one in Colorado that has this. Because I think this is something that Nicola just came up with. But, uh, comes out of Serbia. And um, I'm really impressed with some of the stuff that comes out from that part of the world. So buy from them. Support them. And I forget, I, th I think if you, so when you buy his rack, you might as well go ahead and get these guys. So look how nice that is, because before, here's the straps that were beating up my, my plastic sides. You can see the wear marks right here. Plus, now I've got a place to put more decals, and they're not going to get blocked, because uh, the, uh, the back is going to be held down by this little guy here. I like it. Nicola. It's a 10. Give you 10 on this one.